welcome to the 12th biennial national conference of physics academy of northeast here i am honored to present my poster titled structure optical property relationship of sputtered silver nanoparticle zinc oxide microrod heterostructure this work has been accomplished with the help of my fellow research scholar mr anurag kashyap under the guidance of my phd thesis supervisor dr bimal kumar sharma now let's introduce the system hybrid structures of metals and semiconductors at nano scale have enhanced structural and optical properties these properties can be exploited for the development of electroluminescent displays opto electronic devices leds biosensors uv lasers etc zinc oxide with a large band gap and a high exciton binding energy at room temperature is a promising material to be used in opto electronic devices the main disadvantage is the presence of intrinsic defects leading to low uv emissions significant photoluminescence enhancement of zinc oxide coated with metal films has been reported this indicates considerable potential of surface plasmon mediated emission in enhancing the emission efficiency of zinc oxide based devices now let's move on to the preparation of silver zinc oxide heterostructures this is the schematic of the pulse tc magnetron sputtering setup installed in our laboratory the process starts with cleaning of the chamber and mounting the appropriate sputtering targets onto the magnetrons and the substrates used onto the substrate holder then the chamber is evacuated to a rough vacuum using the rotary pump and then to a high vacuum using the diffusion pump after proper evacuation of the chamber argon gas is injected into it using the needle valve then a high negative pulse tc is applied to the sputtering target which results in the creation of the argon plasma and the subsequent occurrence of sputtering using this method heterostructures of silver nanoparticles and zinc oxide microrods are prepared based on following deposition parameters first zinc oxide seed layers are prepared on glass and silicon substrates with an argon pressure of 2.5 pascal sputtering power of 50 watt frequency of 100 kilohertz duty cycle of 70% and a deposition time of 40 minutes upon them zinc oxide microrods are grown with an argon pressure of 7 pascals sputtering power of 85 watt frequency of 100 kilohertz duty cycle of 70% and a deposition time of 10 minutes finally silver nanoparticles are grown at an argon pressure of 7.5 pascals sputtering power of 80 watt for a deposition time of 10 seconds microstructure and morphology of silver zinc oxide heterostructures grown on silicon and glass substrates are determined using x-ray diffraction and scanning electron microscopy the diffraction peaks observed are consistent with the hexagonal woodside structure of zinc oxide microrods and fcc structure of silver nanoparticles the presence of silver is indicated by the low intensity peak at around 38 degrees The scanning electron microscopy images of silver zinc oxide heterostructures reveal silver nanoparticles in the proximity of zinc oxide microrods. Some ribbon-like structures are also observed when silicon is used as the substrate. The direct attachment of silver nanoparticles on zinc oxide microrods have been marked. The space between the silver nanoparticles and the zinc oxide microrods can suppress the undesired charge transfer and the non-radiative foster resonant energy transfer between the metal and the semiconductor. This implies that the exciton plasmon coupling can also be obtained if the metal and semiconductor are in close proximity. Most of the silver nanoparticles have an average size of around 100 nanometers which might play a crucial role in the surface plasmon resonance absorption. The optical properties of silver zinc oxide heterostructures are determined using UV visible spectroscopy and photoluminescence spectroscopy. In the UV visible spectra, strong absorption is observed at 380 nanometers, which is attributed to the fundamental absorption edge of zinc oxide. The plasmon peak of silver is situated at around 538 nanometers. It is known that the SPR wavelength of noble metal nanoparticles can be tuned by tailoring the size, shape, interparticle spacing and the surrounding medium. An interference pattern is observed in the spectra for silver zinc oxide heterostructures. The second peak at around 632 nanometers might be due to the surface plasmon resonance of silver nanoparticles. 
The plasmon peak of silver zinc oxide heterostructures is further shifted towards red, which may be due to the charge transfer from silver nanoparticles to zinc oxide microrods. All the photoluminescence spectra show an emission peak centered at around 380 nanometers, which falls in UV region. This emission is attributed to the near bandage emission due to recombination of free excitons. Further, it has been observed that on addition of silver on zinc oxide microrods, the exciton emission enhances. This enhancement of exciton photoluminescence intensity indicates the exciton plasmon interaction. Nearly threefold enhancement of the near bandage peak is obtained in silver zinc oxide heterostructures than that of only zinc oxide microrods. It is to be noted that there is a strong overlap between the emission spectra of zinc oxide microrods and the plasmon spectra of silver nanoparticles. So, the enhancement of the emission peak is strongly attributed to coupling between exciton and plasmon. Finally, we can conclude that silver nanoparticle and zinc oxide microrod heterostructures are successfully developed on glass and silicon substrates. Silver nanoparticles have a broad plasmon peak centered at around 530 nanometers due to their large particle sizes. Bethochromic shift that is the red shift of plasmon peak of silver nanoparticles in silver zinc oxide heterostructures is also observed. In the photoluminescence spectra, a threefold enhancement is observed in the near bandage emission peak for silver zinc oxide heterostructures. The overlapping of the exciton emission of zinc oxide microrods and the broad plasmon peak of silver nanoparticles indicates exciton plasmon interaction in silver zinc oxide heterostructures. That's all in this poster presentation. Finally, on behalf of all the authors, I would like to thank you all for your kind attention.